Workers and other education workers rallied against the McGuinty government's Bill 115 today ahead of a one-day strike by public elementary teachers in Hamilton and on Monday and in Toronto and seven other school districts across the province on Tuesday. Well, with New Year's Eve parties on the horizon, a lot of us women and some men yes. are trying to make plans, deciding what to do, you know, and maybe what to wear. Absolutely. It's, you know, it is it is out there. And of course, we have Natalie Sexton to just help us all out with everything. That's right. Well, a New Year's Eve party, I think, is a great excuse to get dressed up regardless of what you're doing, where you're going, even if you're hosting. Um, so I've come up with some really fun ideas, some trendy ones and some classic ones uh, from hair, makeup and outfits. Um, that I brought to you today. So okay. we're going we're gonna to start off actually with a makeup demo that I was here earlier doing with a, a very lovely model. <laughs> Would your very lovely model happen to be your very lovely daughter? This is Megan, yes, she's my model today. And um, so what I'm doing here is I'm combining three trends. So I started off with this really great punchy orange red lip and then I'm applying a really lovely silver metallic eyeshadow and you want to really blend that into the crease and you can go as dramatic or as soft as you want to. And then of course, false eyelashes. And this is really a New Year's Eve must have. So you want to take your band of lashes, you're going to apply your glue with a little bit of a, at the tip of a Q-tip, let it dry a little, place them right into the lash line. And then a great way to conceal where the glue is, is to go over top of that with a little bit of liquid eyeliner. And then finish off the lashes with two coats of regular mascara. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna adhere the lashes, your false ones, to your real ones. And voila, here is the finished product. She looks fantastic. She does, she looks just like all of the, the famous people we're now going to show you. Absolutely. You basically just said, okay, here's yeah. the look that they have. That's right. Here's an easy way to do it. That's so right, here so go. here are those three trends, right? So we're seeing here the false lashes on Mila Kunis and then this great orangey red lip which is a fun option opposed to that classic red lip and then silver eyeshadow which is really you can wear that at any age and again you can do that as dramatic as you want and as soft as you want so you can have fun with you with your New Year's makeup and the hair and the hair okay so that's next so there's sort of three options that I love here I love this classic chignon right at the nape of your neck really sleek and pulled back it's great for a, a black tie event and then in the middle we're seeing this really fun braided updo I love braids I think they're really trendy and it's a great thing to wear to a cocktail party or to a friend's party and then of course these loose cascading waves they look great for medium to long hair lengths and again at any age you can wear this and how to dress right so I've, I've come up I've kind of put together four events so we're starting off with a gala or a black tie event so I say you definitely want to go for something from the knee to the floor. You don't want to go for anything too short or too trendy. And these really luxe, beautiful fabrics in rich colors, jewel tones like emeralds and burgundies and embellishment is really beautiful too. So think classic, okay, not too trendy. And then next we have a cocktail party. So you can really have fun with this look. You can play with trends like metallics and sequins. If you're gonna go for that little black dress, then play that up with some great accessories like we're seeing here, like a collar necklace and a metallic little bag. So have fun with this look, maybe step outside of what you usually would wear, um, but you can really play with trends. And then next we have the dinner party. So whether you're hosting this or going to a dinner party, you can really have some fun with your look. I love a peplum top or a sequin skirt and then dress shorts are a really fun option opposed to, you know, classic black pants. So you're gonna do that though. If you're gonna go for the shorts, go for opaque tights with that. If you're going to somebody's house, I'd also say, bring an extra pair of shoes. Not everybody will let you wear their heels in your house, right? So opt for a cute little pair of ballet flats. And then we're finishing off with the casual house party. So you don't go to somebody's house in your jammies. Okay, we're saving that for New Year's Day. So I think about this as your dressed up basics. Um, nothing is more sweet than a, a lovely sweater dress. This is, has that casual but chic look and then colored denim. And I love this. On the left here, we're seeing this great sequins blazer with your basic denim. And these are all really fun looks. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to a New Year's party and I tried to convince everyone to wear pajamas. You did? I, I did. I believe that. I you wanted know, to wear my pajamas you know what, if, to the if New Year's party. If they're sequins, sequins pajamas, then If you maybe. can find them, I will wear All right. them. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, that's our Thanks, time. Kate. You're going to have a couple weeks off for Christmas. That's and when right. we return, we'll have so much more for you, of Absolutely. course, with your segment. Yes. So, Happy holidays. Yes, you as well. Thank you. We'll take a short break. We have more to come right after this. I'm Eric Gage coming up in sports. You've probably heard by now that R.A. Dickey is close to being traded to the Toronto Blue Jays. Has it happened? Will it happen between now and sports? What's taking so long? Wait, did it just happen? Stick around for sports. Number 13.